wireless devices such as cell phones, tablets, and computers are unavoidable in our modern lives. And while these devices have revolutionized how we communicate with each other, scientists have raised questions about the impact of wireless radiation on human health. Cell phones, Wi-Fi routers, baby monitors, and countless other devices communicate using electromagnetic signals. Today's wireless devices use a similar frequency range as traditional radios, which is why we call this radio frequency radiation. But what exactly is the impact of this type of radiation? Research has linked exposure to radio frequency radiation with a higher risk of brain and other cancers, lower sperm counts, migraines, and changes in the nervous system and brain metabolism, and even changes in fetal development. Since electronic devices are not going anywhere, after all, we use them every day, from answering emails to keeping the kids entertained while we make dinner. Here are some of our top tips for reducing your exposure to radio frequency radiation. Number one, use a headset or speakerphone so you don't need to hold the phone against your head when speaking. Number two, keep your phone, tablet, and other wireless devices away from your body even when they are not being used. Don't keep your phone in your pocket tucked into your clothes or on your lap. Number three, keep devices in airplane mode whenever possible. Number four, make sure you have strong service. Fewer baths mean more radiation because the phone has to work harder to broadcast its signal. Wi-Fi is a better option when available. And number five, limit children's phone use Young children's bodies can absorb much more cell phone radiation than adults. Much more research is still needed, but we can't ignore the studies that say we should be cautious. As digital devices and technologies change, EWG scientists will continue to study this issue. For more tips and to keep up with our latest research on radio frequency radiation, head to ewg.org slash cell radiation.